Hello! If you've clicked on this link, you're here to see a review of the Thrunite TH10 headlamp. And I think the very first thing I should tell you is that I bought this headlamp. It wasn't given to me. And so here is my honest review. Now I thought it was kind of important to mention that I did not get this given to me. I purchased it because there's been a lot of that going around and in fact it was a review by Spartan John that prompted me to go ahead and order one. And whether you want to say so or not, in the back of your mind you're thinking how can they give you an honest review if they've been given the product by the manufacturer. Now I'm not going to give you a lot of statistics about this flashlight. I will put them in the description down below or you can go to the Through Night website or the Amazon store and see how much it weighs and the various lumen settings and so on. Plus there's a lot of reviews that go over that and you've probably seen them already. What I will do is tell you a little story about my experience using this flashlight over the past summer my experience purchasing this flashlight and we'll give you a few demonstrations of how this thing performs at night and I'm hoping to shed some light on why some viewers have been talking about the turbo on this thing not looking as bright as they thought it should. Now if you're old like me you'll remember those flashlights with the incandescent light bulbs. Ours was a six volt big brick that powered an incandescent bulb and you had to make sure that you didn't run the flashlight for very long or you'd run the battery down really quickly and it wouldn't last out your week's vacation and then you would have to fork over a fair bit of money for another disposable six volt block to run that. And I can remember my father when I was a kid saying you know be careful with the flashlight don't leave it on don't run it too long. But then LED lights came out and it made it possible for you to power these things with much smaller batteries and you could actually get them on your head and out of your hands and it freed you to be able to see and do at the same time and that for me was an incredible invention I love the headlamp and the very first one I bought was a Kano Challenge approved it was a Rayovac Sportsman 3-in-1 LED headlamp. Its maximum power was 22 lumens. It had three light modes, two red LEDs, one white LED, and one Krypton spotlight, which you'd never used because that sucker would drain your batteries in no time. It was powered by three AAA batteries, which made it really light on your head. The problem with it was I kept breaking the adjustment mechanism on the head. I actually went through three of them. Two of them, the adjustment mechanism on the head broke, and the third one, for whatever reason, the switch stopped working. Each one of those headlamps cost $20. That's why it was an Econo Challenge approved headlamp. But when you look back, I ended up spending $60 on that flashlight. So I finally decided to replace it. So the next one is packaged up in this cushion case. And no, it's not the TH10. It's the Black Diamond Storm Waterproof Headlamp. Now, I did a lot of research before I purchased this one. I really liked it because again, it runs on AAA batteries. It had a bright spotlight. It has two LEDs, which give you wide white light. Its maximum power is 100 lumens, which is much brighter than the Rayovac. It's also shockproof. It's waterproof so that I didn't have to worry about using it in rainy weather. And for 50 bucks, I figured I got my money's worth with this unit. So, if I was happy with it, you got to be wondering why I upgraded to the Thrunite TH10. And there's a couple of reasons. One is it's powered by an 18650 lithium ion battery. And I'll tell you a little story about that in a minute. And two, this one is made out of aircraft aluminum. And that was a significant improvement over my previous two flashlights. I was always worrying about the black diamond breaking. 
because it was plastic and because of my previous experience. It has this extra strap over the top just like my Rayovac did and I like that because when I'm walking along the trail this extra weight I want it to stay on my forehead and so that adjustable strap helps me keep it there. But trust me, compared to the Black Diamond, I feel this on my forehead. It's not too heavy, but you know it's there. Now, I don't know if it's a guy thing, but the final reason I wanted this flashlight was 825 lumen turbo mode. But it also has this SOS mode, and that was just a bonus feature. I thought if I ever needed to signal that would be a handy thing to have. So let me tell you a little story about what happened when I got this thing. I must admit to being a little impulsive when I ordered it. I went onto the Thrunite website, gave them my credit card, and off it went. And when it arrived, I was very excited. I opened it up only to find out battery not included. Now, I read through the directions and again I was reminded that I needed an 18650 lithium ion battery but I didn't know anything about 18650 lithium ion batteries but it did say that I could get a CR123 also a battery I wasn't too familiar with so off I went to my local electronics store and of course asked them do you sell 18650 batteries and I got a lot of blank looks Luckily, one of the service reps had his cell phone connected to Wi-Fi and he quickly Googled 18650 batteries and he goes, hey, yeah, there's lots of them online, but no, we don't sell them. And in fact, I could not find any store in my local area that sold 18650 batteries. So I ended up putting two CR123s in here and that they did not last very long at all. Yes, they were dollar store batteries, so they were cheap, but the brand name ones were way more expensive and they're not rechargeable. So I was just imagining putting tons of money through this flashlight using these CR123 batteries. So back on the Thrunite website and I ordered a couple of 18650 batteries. Now for the sake of argument, the flashlight was $40. I was now into another $30 for 18650 batteries. This thing is getting a lot more expensive than I originally planned on spending. And then I realized I have no way to charge 18650 batteries. So back on the Thrunite website I go to purchase a battery charger so that I can charge up my 18650 batteries. All in I was over $100 Canadian in order to make this flashlight work. So when the batteries finally arrived, I charged them up, threw them in the flashlight, and I immediately tried turbo mode. <laughs> Sorry about your eyes there. And I kind of went, hmm, that doesn't really seem eight times brighter than my black diamond at 100 lumens. So what is a lumen anyway? Do you know what a lumen is? Do I know what a lumen is? No. So I had to look it up because I needed to understand What's a lumen in the first place? Now, I found a website, luminnow.org, and I'll put a link to it in the description down below. But there I found out that a 40-watt incandescent light bulb, something I'm familiar with, puts out 450 lumens. A 60-watt incandescent light bulb puts out 800 lumens. And a 100-watt incandescent light bulb puts out a whopping 1,600 lumens. And that information really put into perspective the power that I had on my head with the TH10. Really, I was putting out the same light as a 60 watt light bulb. So if you've been watching some of these other reviews and they've been saying, hey, the turbo mode doesn't seem to be very turbo, you're comparing that to a 60 watt incandescent light bulb. I know for me it put it into perspective that I was not going to be able to land aircraft with my TH-10 in turbo mode. So here's a demonstration using my wood pile as a target. Okay, the blackness you are looking at right now is firefly mode and my camera is not going to be able to pick it up because it's 
two lumens. But the nice thing about Firefly mode is that it will run off of my 18650 battery for 65 days. But trust me people, that's just bright enough to get you in and out of the tent in the middle of the night when you have to pee and not wake up anybody else. The next mode is low, that's 15 lumens, medium, 202 lumens or twice as bright as my black diamond, high 580 lumens and turbo at 825 lumens. And if you notice high and then turbo, it doesn't look like there's a big difference between the two. But I can see it here and if you'll notice when I put it to high and then I switch it to turbo you'll notice that the camera is correcting for the amount of light. So here's high, and you can see it immediately corrects for that light, and then turbo, you can see it immediately corrects for that light. So I think part of the reason why some reviewers of this flashlight have trouble demonstrating how bright turbo mode really is, is because their camera equipment is compensating for the brightness. Now I have one more demonstration that I want to show you and that's the SOS signal mode, my hunter orange hat. Now in this shot I want you to look really closely in the center of the screen and you'll see my hunter orange hat. Now I'm going to zoom back. That's how far away my headlamp is to show you this SOS demonstration. It's approximately 200 meters down that road. That flash is flashing at 825 lumens. I think you'll agree you'll have no trouble attracting attention if they can see your light. Now before you go, I'm going to give you one more little tip which I actually got from Suge and his review of the TH10. If you get one of these, you might be concerned that it might accidentally turn on in your pack if something presses this little button. To prevent that, all you need to do is open up the battery door just a little bit by cranking it back and it will not turn on accidentally in your pack. So thank you very much, Suge, for that tip, in case you're watching. So that's my honest review of the Thru-Night TH10 Aircraft Aluminum 825 Lumen Turbo Flashlight. I look forward to your comments down below and thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.